Hey guys, so today we're going to print out the item here on the new GTEC E180. Uh, it's a dragon that I found on Thingiverse. It's actually been all over Twitter in the last couple days, so I wanted to go ahead and give that a shot. And this time I'm going to try it with the Zero Marble Filament. This is kind of an interesting looking filament. I saw it on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the video description, along with a link to the E180 as well. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot on here and just see how it prints. Hey guys, so I've been playing around with the E180 for a little bit this week. Um, I changed jobs at night and some other things happened, so it's kind of been kind of limited on my time getting, coming out here and uh, doing what I need to be doing. <laughs> so sorry for not having a video earlier in the week. But um, I finally got a chance to really sit down and start start playing with it. So what I did is I took the model that was the, the dragon that's been on Twitter here lately. I went ahead and I sliced that model and been printed with the E180 and I've had some interesting results and some of them not so good. <laughs> For instance, this one right here, I had some major uh, layer shift issues and at first I couldn't figure it out, printed it again and that's when I started figuring out what was going on. So first off, it's not the filament. The zero uh, Marble filament has been great. I love the look of it. I love the texture of it. But uh, I'll get you a closer look at this here in just a moment. Filament's definitely not the issue. But I'll show you what is the issue. And it's something I did share with GTEC. And that's right back here, how this cable comes across underneath this lip. Comes here and goes over to the extruder. So as that travels along, the cable gets caught behind the extruder and that's what's causing laser layer shift issues. It's not taking full advantage of the 130 millimeters in this direction that, that it really should. And I still need to sit down and really figure out how, what is the easiest way of remedying it. I've got a gut feeling it's going to probably involve making a notch here on the end of this arm to allow that to fall into the notch and which I, I think that would probably fix it. But it's something I'll, I'll look at here uh, very soon. Um, and then, of course, I tried printing this model after I got a successful print by sizing down the model, moving it further on the bill plate. So I sliced it again, and I moved it a little bit further. And when I did, I moved it too far to where it started shifting the other direction. <laughs> now, a lot of what's causing the layer shift issues as well is because I had to use Cura. Uh, I wasn't able to use the easy th uh, print 3D uh, software that, that GTEC has. And the reason for it was that this model uh, it is huge. I mean, it is, I forget how big the file is, and it's not an STL file. It's, a, it's another file, and I'll, I'll put a, uh, I'll put down what file it is right down over here. <laughs> And uh, it just, it would not open in the software. I, every time it tried to, it, the program would lock up and it just would not open up. So I finally took it over into Cura. Cura was able to open it just fine. But the only thing is I don't have all the settings. I've just been playing, you know, just kind of grabbing settings out of the air to try to figure everything out because number one, I've never used a Bowden setup before. So that's a, a whole new animal for me. But it's uh, it's been a... <laughs> A learning curve that's for sure but with that said I think if I slice a different model in uh, their software I think I might have a little bit more success with it but we'll see uh, once again I've, I've got to get into it and play with that the other thing is this one has the same hot end that the d200 has I mean I like the hot end the only thing is it is detachable so you can you can take your little tool 
pull the little pin over and drop the whole hot end out. It's a great idea. The only thing is, for some reason, this one loosened up, same as what that one did when I first had it. And so I had to, it's paused the print halfway through because it lost heat on the extruder. So whenever that happened, I, I reseated it instantly and restarted the print. And when I did, I had a little bit of a, sh a layer shift issue from that. Other than that, this model would have turned out really good. So, you know, it's been kind of a bittersweet week this week, this week with this machine, but uh, I'm hoping I can uh, get some more settings tweaked into it a little bit better and uh, get some better prints off it hopefully this, this coming week. But uh, definitely stay tuned. We'll see how it turns out. And I'll go ahead and end this out with a closer look at this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.